Hey guys, what's up? Today I've been having a bit of a relaxation, decluttering kind of day. I'm in my comfy clothes and I'm ready to just clean my house. One of my big goals for 2019 was to declutter my wardrobe and my makeup. And a big bugbear for me, and it has been for a long time, has been my chest of drawers in my bedroom. Before I moved house, I didn't really throw anything away. I just threw it all into bags and then put it back in my chest of drawers. But it's been bugging me how messy and how cluttered uh, that chest of drawers is. So this is a quick shot of it from before and in this video I'm going to be decluttering the top and all of the drawers and I thought I would take you with me so you can see the steps that I'm taking and what methods I use to decide whether I want to keep something or throw something away. So without further ado let's go and declutter my chest of drawers. So we're going to start with the top of my dresser. This is where I usually get ready when I want to film a video or if I want to go out. This is where I put my makeup on, this is my makeup mirror and all of this this clutter here is usually in this makeup um, drawer thing. But of course, every time that I travel, I put all my makeup in my disgustingly old makeup bag. I think this is from Boots like a year ago. So I need to put all of this stuff back into here and really look at how much of this stuff I use for my everyday makeup. If I don't use it, then I probably don't need to keep it. It is really hard getting rid of makeup, especially if you do use it now and again. So I'm probably not gonna be too strict with this. And over here, there's just like loads and loads of random clutter. This is um, my jewelry holder. This is actually uh, one that Zoella sent me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm dropping things all over the place. And uh, just some perfumes, a speaker, and some random bottles that need to be put away. So. Let's get going. So first off, this makeup bag can just go to the side for now. I know I'm keeping it, I know I need it, um, but I am gonna replace it with a better one at some point. I really need to get a new beauty blender. <sighs> replace these often, you use sponges. Um, although I've recently got into using uh, an actual foundation brush again, uh, going old school, and I think I actually prefer how it goes on my face, so I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna be keeping this. I'm gonna keep the top, right? That's too dirty. That's that is beyond repair. No amount of like brush cleaning gel is gonna get anything out of that. You know what? You are going, you are the first thing on the trash pile. Let's move all of this off of here. I definitely still use my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. Although you get six shades and I literally only use this one. Um, I'm just gonna find um, a bronzer or some sort of separate contour pan in this shade because to spend all that money to use one of the six is just ridiculous. This is a liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. It's Double Dare. Um, the thing is, the product itself is really, really good. All of her liquid lipsticks are good. However, I am so prone to those lines in my lips. Some people just naturally have them and liquid lips really, really accentuate that for me. So I am gonna stop using liquid lips, I think. They don't suit me, they don't work on my lips very well. They dry out, they look like a wrinkly butthole. So you know what? I haven't used this in absolutely ages. Au revoir. I also have this one though. This is a Topshop liquid lipstick and I actually really like this. This one isn't drying, believe it or not. This is less drying than the Kat Von D one. I don't really go for a red lip, but I am gonna put it to one side for the days where I feel like I do need a little something. This is the Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel from The Body Shop. I did use this a couple of times and it's it's okay. Um, I don't really feel like I need an eye gel, to be honest with you. It's okay if you want an eye gel, but I haven't been using them. I've been using eye serums and eye creams a lot more. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I always use this. This is staying. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. Um, once I get to the end of this shade right here and maybe one of these, I only use the highlighting uh, bright white color, which is blow, and some of the browns like Tempted or Faith or Lockout, some of these browns down here. Um, but I don't use the reds, I don't use the blues, I don't use the black really. Um, so I don't have a need to replace this palette. They actually do a smaller one, this is the Urban Decay Naked Basics, um, and it just has the shades that I use. So I'm gonna be switching over to this. And the thing is, I've had this a really, really long time. I think I was given this, so I don't know who I was given it by. So I think it might be time soon to just, you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it because I don't know how old that is and I have one that is, 
uh, better, it's better suited for me, it has um, less colours to waste. So I think new year, new start. Yes, it hurts to do it, to throw away makeup that you're still kind of using, but I think this might be better for me. There we go, much smaller much better. And it has all of the perfect shades. So there you go. That's gonna really help to downsize everything. Now I have to make a choice really between the NYX concealer or the Rimmel Match Perfection one. And I've been using both in conjunction with each other, like, you know, a different one each day. And I have to be honest with you, the Rimmel one is better. Not sponsored to say that, I'm not gonna write a song about it, but it is genuinely better. So I think this next one is gonna go. Barry M eyeliner, which I use every single day. I've used this Barry M eyeliner since I was like 13, 14. I've, I've never found a better one. I find the pen applicator to be the best one. There are so many that are like really thin fibers and I just, it goes everywhere. This one, it's like $3.99 or something like that. It might be a bit dearer than that now, but like it's still the best. And I, I cannot praise it enough. I was using a Ren uh, moisturizer, which is really, really good. But honestly, any moisturizer is gonna moisturize your skin. You don't need to spend a lot of money on moisturizer. Cleansing balms and serums, yes, you get what you pay for. Foundations, you get what you pay for. When it comes to a moisturizer, just get an unscented um, moisturizing day cream or something. This is so cheap and it works just as well as like a 40, 50 pound moisturizer, quite honestly. So this is the Simply Pure Refreshing Toner by Superdrug. If you want cheap, cruelty-free, like genuinely cruelty-free products, uh, Superdrug is wonderful for skincare. They have a range, I can't remember what it's called, like B, I think, um, and it's it's all cruelty-free. Uh, nothing says in China, etc. cetera. Um, but the thing is, here's something that I learned really, really recently. You don't need toner. Toner is a myth. It's a complete, complete myth. If you have a decent cleansing balm, like let's say um, one from Clinique, which I bought recently, or one from Drunk Elephant, which is a bit pricey, or even like the 9 to 5 cleanser from Lush, if you have a good enough oil-based cleanser, it doesn't even have to be oil-based, if, if it does the job, you don't need toner. People use toner as like, oh well, you know, it gets off what my cleansing water couldn't. Um, I've now moved away from cleansing water and moved away from toner. Toner is scented water, don't bother. Again, micellar water, this is, uh, yeah, it's Be Pure, the super drug one. Quite honestly, like putting this on a cotton pad and wiping it across your skin, you are much better off getting like a balm and just doing little circles and then rinsing it off with clean, pure water. Uh, my set of cleansing water, do you know what? I fell for it and millions of people fall for it. It's, yes, it gets off your makeup, sure, it does, but there are better ways to do it that are gentler on your skin. This one apparently even cleanses, tones, and refreshes. So if you are really into cleansing water, then you can get this and not bother with toner. Toner is a myth, but I am actually gonna be getting rid of my cleansing water as like a statement to myself that I am, I'm concentrating on using cleansing balm now because I'm able to. A speaker, I don't really use this Bluetooth speaker anywhere near as much as I used to. I used to use this all the time in my old house, but I think this can go on the windowsill. It doesn't need to be on my table. This is a nightmare. I don't know how much of this you can see, but it, it, it looks ridiculous. I've got far too many things on this. I think these are way too big, so these are gonna go. I'm gonna keep one pair of silver earrings just in case I go for a day where I want to wear silver jewelry. But to be honest with you, I've been really into gold. I can't see me using these. You know what, actually, I'm not gonna use them, right? These are all just stacking rings. Like they're really, really cheap. They're from like New Look and H&M and stuff. I don't own any gold rings. I think I wore this in one Instagram picture and never wore it again, okay? Like I love me some Taylor Swift and this is clearly inspired by her, but I'm not gonna wear this anymore. Oh my god, what is happening here? <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna do away with stud earrings. I'm not gonna wear them anymore. I am gonna really miss these balloon dog earrings, but I don't wear them, so there's no point in keeping them. And there was a time where I really, really loved these earrings by H&M that say love in them. They're so country, um, but I just haven't worn them since I bought them, so total waste. All of these, I use these every single day just to keep my headband on, so all of these are gonna have to stay. So what? Oh my god. So I have just thrown out all of my silver jewelry, so there is no need to keep this silver necklace, but I need to find a better place for this. I'm actually gonna put this uh, on my capture wardrobe. It'll just be a better place to hang it rather than trying to, you know, untangle it all the time on here. And then here we just have an assortment of like perfumes and stuff. Um, this is Alien by Terry Muller, 
and this is like my favourite perfume in the world, not just because it smells amazing but because my boyfriend bought it for me for my birthday and uh, reminds me of him and I think it smells amazing and every time I wear it I, I miss him so that's definitely going to stay on here. This is Angel by Terry Mueller which is also really really good um, but I'm going to wait until I have started using more Alien before I start moving on to Angel. I bought this myself. It does smell really nice, it's a much more sweet, innocent smell, whereas Alien is more of like... I can't really describe the notes in it, to be honest with you. It's a really dark, like, deep, rich scent, whereas this is more light. I wouldn't say floral, but it's more of a clean smell. And this is actually a room spray by Zara. This is Golden Grass Home Spray. Um, I was going to make a favourites video about a month ago, and this was going to be in it, because this smells amazing. But I don't think I need to have a home spray on... Uh, this chest of drawers. I think I'm gonna put this on my bedside cabinet uh, so that I can uh, You know clear up some space, but yeah, this is really really nice. Zara do really good home sprays, so worth bearing in mind. Oh, and that's just a lamp It's a pretty cool lamp it's from Ikea like most of my things So now I'm just gonna take everything off here and give it all a wipe down and then put it all back on and then we shall Excuse me. We shall move on to the drawers underneath. Ta-da! All done. Uh, it looks so much better now. Just giving it that clean has absolutely transformed it. I'm so happy. I've only got to give it a week though, and it will absolutely be back to uh, to how it was. I know me. But this is nice now. I have a brand new start for 2019. So moving on to the top drawer. This is primarily my hair drawer. So it's got my hair dryer, my straighteners, and all my hair products. As you can see, uh, it's a bit of a mess. There are so many things in here that I like, but I just don't use. So I'm gonna be a bit more strict with this than I was up there. Still might use these curlers. I just recently bought some hair extensions, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these, put those to one side. Now being real about it, I don't use any of the extensions uh, that go on the end of my hair dryer. I just don't. I always feel like I shouldn't throw them though. Like just in case, like I do need them one day, but like I don't think I'm ever gonna use a diffuser again. Like I, I'm not interested in making my hair like really big and really curly. So you know what? I'm making a start. And if I'm gonna use one of these extensions, I'm probably gonna use the thinner one. My hair is really fine. There's just a lot of it. So I'm gonna keep one. I think that's a pretty good compromise. I have hair bands that shouldn't be in here. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have my hair bands in here. I also have three of these different hair bands that I use when I'm putting a face mask on. I don't need three. There's no need to have three. I might have two so that if one's in the wash, then I can always use another, but I didn't, I didn't need three for sure. I have two cans of the same hairspray. Why do I have two cans? I have one that's like a third full and one that's half full. So I'm gonna have to keep both, but uh, this is fantastic by the way. Again, none of these products are sponsored. This is not a sponsored video, but um, I use the got to be glued blasting free spray all the time. I remember as a kid I used to use that Tresemme freeze hold. This isn't too dissimilar, but uh, it smells really really nice. It was Emma Pickles who recommended this to me and it's absolutely worth it. It's a fantastic hold. I also have this though and this uh, this is a texturizing hairspray made for mess. I don't want this anymore. Um, it works really well and it smells really nice, but um, it is different and I don't find it as good as this one. This is good like if you want a back comb, whereas this is more like if you have like an updo and you really want to keep it in place. There is a difference, but I don't have a use for this. I bought this and I've used it like twice in the last few months, so goodbye. I have a wet brush and a tangle teaser, both covered in hair. That is disgusting. I like them both, but I find this one is much better. I don't need two brushes. Um, I just need to keep an eye on where I put this one. I only ever use this when I can't find this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. This Studio Line L'Oreal Paris Matte and Messy Gel. Uh, again, this is something that Emma Pickles um, recommended to me and Cena. Uh, because we fell in love with Emma Pickles hair on a, on a night in and we were like, what do you use? Uh, so she sent over like her, the hairsprays and the gels and stuff, but this is how much I've used it in the last few months. There's no point to keeping this. I don't use it. I don't have a need for it. So you can go. Label M thickening cream swells hair for thicker and fuller feel. You know what? I bought this from a hairdresser and 
I used it for a little while and I haven't used it in so, so long that I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. But then again, it is also a heat protector, this heat activated cream. But you know what, no, 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 shouldn't have to think about it. If I have to think about keeping something, then I don't want it. This is a stem density stimuli, high potency serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller and healthier. Use once daily, apply to scalp. You know what, I used to use like this sort of thing all the time, like pipettes and stuff. Remember when I shaved my head a few years ago? Uh, I was rubbing this sort of stuff into my scalp every day. It didn't make a difference, okay? It won't make your hair grow faster. That's why they don't say faster, even though everyone thinks that these are for growth. It, I just, I don't ever notice a difference. So away you go. This is a fashion edition powder to wax by Label M. Uh, it is this really weird powdery stuff that once you put it in your hand, it turns to wax. Again, I don't use wax. I don't have a need for wax, so that can go. More hair bands. Another hair band. Lots and lots of hair bands. This is the Curl Company curl cream. I don't understand how how creams can make your hair curl. I don't understand. Your hair's even naturally curly or it's not. Isn't it essentially just going to be like a hair gel? Smooth onto dry or damp curls. See, I don't have natural curls, so why do I have that? And then there's this Lnet uh, hairspray for coloured hair. I used to use this all the time before I found the Schwarzkopf one, but I don't use it, so away. That looks so much better, doesn't it? There's just such little clutter in here now. I do still feel like this could be minimized a bit more. Um, I've got my small hair bands behind here. I don't use them all that often. Uh, and I'm gonna put all of my uh, bigger hair bands with my capture wardrobe. So the second and final drawer, because there's basically nothing in this one. This is just magazines with me in it, because I'm really sad. Um, our second and final drawer is basically miscellaneous beauty products. Now this is really where we're gonna have to go in depth because it is a mess. There's so much in here. I don't actually know where to start at all. I have no clue. Bra extenders to improve the comfort and fit of your bra with some nipple pasties. Why are they in there? Body Shop Ginger Shampoo. This actually works pretty well. So I'm gonna put that in the bathroom. This is just the box for that um, room spray that you saw. Cotton pads, cotton pads, cotton pads, cotton pads. Do you think I have enough cotton pads? <laughs> I have some body butters by the Body Shop. Um, this banana one, um, I thought I really, really liked it when it first came out and then as time went on, I started to think it's really quite sickly. I also have um, the uh, Satsuma one that was part of that uh, Body Shop campaign. The problem is I did that a year ago. So this is probably quite old and it does have a 12 month expiry thing on it. With that sort of a uh, 12 month expiry thing, I'm supposed to say to you like, oh, you must adhere to it in case the product is spoiled, etc. There are a lot of products where you can just sort of, you know, give and take, but yeah, it's still, still fine but I just I haven't really used it and I think I want to start moving away from like perfumed products like this but at the minute I'm still trying to get through this Garnier one uh just a hydrating lotion and I do find this to be better um so I'm gonna keep that and throw away that old body butter but this is amazing uh one of you guys uh Sophie got this for me for my birthday. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna keep this in case I wanna treat myself. Just every now and again. Bleach London Hard AF Setting Spray. I don't use setting spray. Maybe I should, but I just don't. I don't want to put a layer of glue over my face. So I'm gonna get rid of you. Nivea Two-in-One Cleanser and Toner. Toner is a myth. Tifa Toes Foot Powder by Lush. I want this, but I don't know why it's in here. I have so many hand lotions from Lush when they did their um, showcase last March, and I was obsessed with the idea that they had a lavender scented hand cream, so I went a bit over the top and bought loads of them. I'm torn, I'm really torn. I'm gonna keep these, and I'm gonna make an effort to put one of these in my bag at all times to get through it. The thing is, I already have so much hand cream already. Like, I just found another sleepy hand cream. I have this one by L'Occitane, which my boyfriend bought me. Oh, Emma, shut up. And a Crabtree and Evelyn one. I have so much hand cream. I don't need this much hand cream. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna keep the L'Occitane one because I really enjoy it. The Crabtree and Evelyn one, 
I haven't really used. I'm not really that into it. So you know what? You can go. As for these, you know what? You know what? You know what? This is just, it's just clutter. It's just clutter. I'm not using it. I'm not using any of them. I haven't used them. Get rid of them. Another hairband. What is with the hairbands? Charcoal pore strips. How many of these do I have left? Because I don't think these are very good for the skin anymore. I'm, do you know what? I'm actually going to throw these away. It is always really tempting to use these charcoal pore strips, but essentially you're putting glue on your skin and trying to suck out, you know, pore strips. The thing is, I don't have blackheads. I just have like sebum deposits and that's, you know, in my pores and that that's just natural anyway. Use these like, you know, one day, the next day, it's all back, so. Myth Bio Oil. I bought this uh, for when I had my surgery and I wanted my scars to fade, except I never used it and now it's probably far too late to use it. My scars are actually all right. They're pretty good. You can't really see them anyway, so you know what? You can go. Cosmetic paper, so blotting sheets, always handy. Excuse me. Not that I've used them, but you know, I'm gonna start putting them in my handbag, I think. So I'm actually going to put my hand cream and my blotting sheets over here to remind me to put them in my handbag. This is the Master Palette by Mario. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a collab with Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, but this is so old, so, so old. I think I'm gonna replace this. This is the only palette I have that has some shimmery tones, which I don't really use anyway. I think it's time. I think it's time, goodbye. I have some masks, charcoal peel off mask. I don't think I want to put that on my skin anymore. De-stress sheet masks. I love sheet masks. These are so much better than like peel masks. If you can invest in these, just go to Boots or Superdrug. Uh, this one's by Simple. This one is really, really lovely. You look like an idiot. You look like a complete ghost with them, but they're so worth it. There's another one. I don't know where I bought this. I don't think I did buy this. Korean face mask, maybe gold, diamond, and pearl powder. Do you know what? Not necessary. You don't need to put gold in a face mask. It's just an unnecessary ingredient. And more blackhead strips. So that was pretty successful. So I've zoomed in just so you guys can see this tub of extra makeup. Now this is where we're gonna be absolutely Brutal. Illuminating liquid um, highlighter from Body Shop. I don't like liquid highlighters. I got tricked into buying this by uh, the makeup artist there who was upselling and I felt too awkward to say no. Never used it. I used it, well, that's a lie. I used it once and didn't like the formula. Anything that's like a liquid highlighter from like Boots or like the Benefit One stuff, just powder ones are so much better. So you know what, goodbye. More blotting paper. How much more blotting paper can one have? These are by NYX and they don't have an expiry date so I am gonna keep those. Great Lash by Maybelline. This is like an iconic mascara um, and I am near the end of my mascara so I'm actually gonna be looking into using this. Lush Poppy Lip Scrub, used by April of this year. I already have loads of them, I don't need this many. Sugar Plum Fairy, this one I think smelled like, it was either Snow Fairy or The Comforter. Oh God, it's so sweet. You know what, both of these, both of these can go. NYX Wonder Pencil, so this is uh, an under eye, like waterline nude pencil. I don't use those anymore, I use a black for my waterline, so you can go. These are lip liners uh, for shades that I've pretty much just thrown away, so they can all go. This is a really old eyebrow uh, brush. It looks disgusting, it's got too much dust and hair on it. This is a little blush by NARS that I've had so, so long, and I can't, I can never bear myself to part with it. It's old, it's so, so old. I don't know if they even sell these anymore. It still has the little plastic sheet on it, so you know what, I'm gonna say it's good. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try it in replacement of my Too Faced one. And if this is better, I keep it. If it's not as good, I throw it. Another liquid lip that I'm not gonna use anymore. Goodbye, cat. Vaccinate your kids. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. I think I found this okay. I think this one has the same sort of brush as uh, the Barry M one, but I trust my Barry M one more than I trust something like this. I have a watch. I don't even wear watches. I don't know why I have this. These are just some false nails, which I really need to use uh, when I don't have my nails done, which I don't right now, they're disgusting. This is a blue jumbo eyeliner pencil, which I used for my Sims video. I'm gonna throw that away now, I don't have a use for it. This is a Topshop lip pencil that goes with the red liquid lipstick that I have by them, so that can stay. This is a beauty blender sponge that I got free from Boots. I've never used it, don't need it. These are tiny little sponges by the actual beauty blender company. Um, and I've had these for like three years, which I think is pretty disgusting. And I just don't use them. I just don't. Um, 
I've used them, a, well, I mean, I've used them a couple times, as you can probably see, and they are quite handy, but I'm, I just, I just don't need, I don't need them. I also have a, uh, fake septum piercing in here, which, uh, I'm definitely keeping, because I'm far too much of a coward to actually pierce my nose. I bought loads of, uh, Barry M liquid eyeliner for the Sims video, so I'm stocked up for ages now. I have a pen. Good. Great. You look at how, how flimsy that is. Nah, no, 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 no. And this stuff is by Dermacol. I'm actually gonna be using this in a video uh, once my new tattoos have healed, where I cover up all of my tattoos. So I am keeping this for video purposes. And then that's it. And I know there's nothing else in these. And then in here, this is a box from Lush. They gave this to me on their, I think it's a, their 20, 25 years or 20 years anniversary? 20 Lush years, that was it. Uh, and it used to contain like all like, the, the best Lush products and stuff, but now I use it for um, nail varnishes. There are so many in here that I just don't need, don't use. Like a cuticle remover, I'm not gonna use that anymore because I get my nails done. Emery boards, never gonna use those. More nail glue. Fuck you. I have so many hand sanitizers by Bath & Body Works, it's not even funny. Like, it's, it's absurd, look at this. How many hand sanitizers does one person need? Not that many, but the thing is, I am always gonna get through these, and I just, because they're so alcohol-based, they're not gonna go off, are they? So I am actually gonna be keeping, I think I'm gonna keep all of these. So now I'm just gonna go through the colors that I'm gonna keep. I'm probably not gonna keep a lot of these. Glow in the dark, wow. Edgy and fun-loving. Well, that narrowed that down. <laughs> Most of these are actually like base coats now. So I'm actually gonna start putting all of my nail products back in here. And that should be that. So now I just need to put everything back. So this is everything that I've decided that I no longer need and to be honest, just looking at it is making me feel just awful. Like all of these products, like most of them I've I've used a little bit and changed my mind on, but there's so many things I just, I don't need and I never needed. And this is money that I've spent that could have been used on something else. These are products that have had to be replaced by manufacturers, meaning that I have contributed to, you know, the damage of the planet without actually using any of the products. So I just, yeah. I just, I feel a bit rough about it, but this is a good lesson to be learned and I'm glad that I'm now a lot more decluttered. So there we have it. Hopefully some before and after shots have inspired you to declutter your own wardrobe or your own chest of drawers. And really think about the impact that it has when we buy products that we don't need, especially if we just don't use them. Buying something on the off chance that we think we might use it, we might like it, it is a waste. It's a waste of your money. It's a waste of resources. Of course, it benefits the manufacturers and the suppliers and the companies, but it just brings unnecessary stress to your life and I feel so much better knowing that I don't have these unnecessary products anymore. The only products I have are ones that I use or ones that are going to replace my current products when they run out. I've never been that good at being strict uh, in terms of throwing things away, so I am really proud of myself and I do feel like I'm in a good mindset to carry on 2019 now. I know what products I use, I know what products I want to replace and which ones I want to keep forever. And from now on, I think I'm gonna ask myself, do I really need this product? Why am I buying this product? Is this gonna replace something that I have run out of or is this a product that I somehow now really, really need in my life? Again, I hope this has inspired you. Let me know down in the comments below if you've recently had a declutter or if you have any tips for anyone else. Feel free to comment about the, uh, the waste that I have created. I know it's bad, but I know that going forward this year, uh, things are gonna be dramatically different for me, which benefits everyone you know, including myself and mother nature. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I shall catch you later.